Hey everyone, welcome to Jones for Horror and Supreme. Today I'm talking about the potential sequel for Spiral from the Book of Saw and some exciting theories for what part 2 could be. So let's get into it. First, let's recap Spiral from the Book of Saw. It was released in 2021, and Spiral was a fresh take on the Saw franchise. It starred Chris Rock as Detective Zeke Banks, and Samuel L. Jackson as his father, Marcus Banks. And the movie ended on a cliffhanger with a new jigsaw killer, William Shank, even though it isn't spot like that, escaping. And given this ending, it's no surprise that fans are eager for a sequel. So, what are the chances of a Spiral 2? I mean, the possibilities of a sequel are high. It was sort of received alright in the franchise for its unique approach to breathe some fresh air and life into the franchise. Chris Rock's involvement to the film definitely added a bit of comedic timing in there, which I didn't really like as much. But, I mean, the series does have a history of sequels, and with Spiral, it revamped the series for a few years until Saw X came out and made it good again, but it's likely Lionsgate will try and capitalise on just the sore name once they finish the main storyline. And what could the plot for Spiral 2 even be? Well, for me, I think that it would definitely follow Zeke Banks as he continues his pursuit of Shank. Whether it picks up directly after the original or a few years or weeks or months afterwards, that's still up for debate because... We definitely need to introduce some new characters. I'm just going to say that now because barely any of them survived. But the ending of, of that film it really pissed me off because it is probably one of the more annoying endings to a Saw movie where the killer escapes and then he's just like, shh, to um, Banks as um, his dad was actually shot dead by all the police. Are they blind or something? Like, they literally have wires coming down, holding his arms up. You would have seen that, wouldn't you? But, oh well. Anyway. It could definitely introduce some new characters. Allies and enemies for Zeke, which adds some layers to the narrative. And let's not forget some potential flashbacks or origins. Because we could see some more of William Shanks' backstory, understanding his motivations and how he became the new Jigsaw. Because, of course, in Spiral, it was just because... His dad died and he wants to kill all the police where they're, like, abusing their power and stuff. It didn't really come out at the best time considering what had just happened. But, ignore that. <laughs> um, yeah, flashbacks could definitely introduce, I guess, some appearances from past Saw characters trying to weave the new narrative to the original narrative of the Saw franchise. And a lot of people kind of want a sequel to this. Some are eager to see some more traps and a deeper dive into the psychological aspect of the games. Some just want to see a bunch of cops torn to pieces, which, you know, to each their own. But I do believe that Spiral was not the best Saw movie, but it definitely isn't the worst one out there. And, yeah, that's pretty much all for today's video for Spiral from the Book of Saw 2 theories slash ideas or just overall what it could be entail. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more updates on the Saw franchise and some other horror theories. Until next time, keep it here on the channel, and bye-bye.